Sorry for the delay. We had some glitches, some gremlins in the works. So uh, I'm Nick Sandro, uh, and I built my own OpenStack system at home a few years ago. So, so, uh, so this is how it began. I have been working, doing programs, and also built some home computers uh, since I was in college in the 70s, in the mid 70s. So this is what I started with, the uh, uh, Z8 uh, 8-bit processor. So in 1988, I le I'm from Romania, I forgot to mention. So in 1988, I left Romania and uh, ended up in Denmark for the next 15 years. <coughs> there I learned Unix. I signed up for some courses at the Danish Technical University. So this is how I learned Unix and the Unix system administration. Then in uh, 1992, <coughs> I came across this system named Linux. So, so I, I have been using Linux pretty much since then and made a living of it. So, so my interests are basically what I would call infrastructure systems, the system programming and the, uh, configuring, uh, 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 building and configuring servers and the uh, networks. So I did also some hosting uh, for, for friends and family mostly, but also for paying customers on my own equipment. Uh, that was in the mid to late 90s. So, <coughs> so then, uh, as I uh, was a little more capacity, uh, I, I adopted um, the Xen virtualization system, Xen domain. Uh, I had the two servers that work as a cluster, and um, uh, I used to spin up uh, virtual machines uh, in this Xen uh, system. Uh, and uh, later on, I, I, I became interested, I, I got in touch with uh, uh, configuration management systems. The first one that I uh, began to use was Puppet. That was in around 2011, when I actually introduced my then uh, uh, employer, uh, the Associated Press. So, <coughs> so um, uh, then, uh, then I continued, I, I found, uh, I began to use uh, Ansible, and the latest time uh, I have been uh, deploying my uh, instances with Terraform. So uh, I had also some issues with e ESXi, the VMware. Uh, I had a big project a few years ago where I had to move uh, a whole data center, 30 servers with uh, 200 instances. So. And so then, uh, the great, uh, then around 2016, 17, I began to see the limitation of the Xen uh, system. Uh, I still had only two servers, but I decided to find a, a real cloud solution for, for my needs. I came across the OpenStack in 2000, and I decided to, to give it a try in late 2018. So, uh, I had also moved a lot, uh, some of my stuff into the into public clouds like uh, uh, Linode and DigitalOcean and uh, AWS because I was living in a flood prone location. So I had to, to, to turn everything off and evacuate. Uh, it happened a couple of times while I was living there. So in 2017, I moved to Pennsylvania to a place which is quite uh, quite high up uh, from the near from the nearest uh, river, something like 20 meters or so. So, <laughs> so, so I began to buy some new equipment. Uh, uh, it was first with the, some refurbished Dell T310. These are tower cabinets. So, <coughs> uh, so I built also a rack in my basement for these uh, machines, and I. And I began to, to experiment with OpenStack. The first, uh, uh, the first instance, uh, 
well, I chose OpenStack because uh, it is free. Well, actually, not exactly free because uh, the electricity is, uh, I still have to pay electricity bills for it. So, so, um, so I used a tool, a tool set named DevStack uh, <coughs> in the beginning. So, uh, then, then I, I decided to, DevStack is a developer uh, tool. So, so it doesn't satisfy all the requirements of a production system. So, so eventually I replaced those three, three tens with the more powerful servers, R620s. So this is what, uh, what I'm uh, using now, three uh, such uh, R620 servers. So uh, <coughs> this is a picture of, of the rack. <laughs> so, so for now it provides uh, enough capacity for, 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 for uh, what I need, and what my wife needs. She, she's, uh, she's, uh, she's, uh, she's a travel agent and needs uh, this infrastructure for her uh, business. So, uh, so uh, this, is, uh, this is how I started with DevStack, uh, that was in 2018. So then, uh, then I uh, uh, switched over to Cola Ansible, which I found much more uh, flexible when it comes to configuration and it uh, can be used also on a production-like system. So, <coughs> So uh, it, you can build it, uh, uh, the default mode when you build with uh, Cola Ansible is, it, creates a, it uh, creates a set of containers. The Docker containers will perform uh, different functions in the system. So, so that was in, uh, in early 2020. So then I wrote, I had troubles with that open stack. So, so I wrote some articles in LinkedIn. I also kind of bragged with, uh, with this project. So, so, uh, <coughs> so this is a short explanation on Cola Ansible and uh, how to use it. Um, so, uh, and also a uh, short description on how, how the system is built. Uh, so, but in 2021, I got contacted from a big company. Uh, they had an open stick, uh, stack system that needed uh, fixing. So I ended up with a contract with them and uh, they built their system and I'm still servicing it today on a part-time basis. So, so these are a short explanation of uh, uh, what the, uh, uh, Neutron uh, does, which is, in my opinion, is the most complicated to configure. The, the Cola Ansible offers some default uh, configuration, which is much easier to understand and to modify. <coughs> uh, so this was uh, how I started to make a limit out of OpenStack. So, um, so I, got, uh, uh, I got a call from a major technology company the one whose product name begins with the lowercase i and has a partially beaten uh, fruitage logo. So they needed uh, someone to, to fix their OpenStack system. Their system was a mess. It was an older release. It was based on uh, an older release of uh, Ubuntu, about 40 nodes. Uh, they had a lot of problems. So, so I, <coughs> so, so, after looking at it, I, I arrived at con the conclusion to, that it uh, needed to be rebuilt from the ground up. Uh, the, the, the problem with it is well, it was I had to keep it, to keep the services that it provided, you know, the instances and everything. I had to keep, to keep them running while I was doing the build. And they didn't have enough servers for me to start a new installation on a new set of servers. So I had to to, to do um, rolling, uh, rebuild, taken all the, the time out of the system, but after migrating everything off it, build it with a new system, 
joining it into the new open state installation we call Ansible. And then, uh, then we, uh, I wrote some scripts that migrated uh, transport instances from and the volumes from the old system to the, to the new one. So <coughs> uh, the, their hardware was based on Real Packard ProLiant G7s. I, I have some old G5s in my basement that, that was I used before I bought the Dell machines. So I took one out of uh, uh, its services as a web server for spiders. So, <laughs> so, um, so I used it to, to develop uh, uh, an auto install procedure to, to be able to, to, to do Ubuntu installs uh, remotely. So, <coughs> so, so I, I did this uh, uh, auto install script for it. And then I began to uh, to take one node at a time, one or two nodes at a time, take out of the old system, rebuild it to the new uh, with the Ubuntu 20, and uh, join them using Cola and So, <coughs> so I used this, the same configuration that I had used at home, the same method, uh, Cola and Sibyl, of course, with some adaptations for their. Uh, a particular situation. So, so this is what, uh, what the project involved. Uh, I, I moved all instances from, uh, from the node to be rebuilt, instances and volumes. I took it out of the old uh, open stack. I, I built the new node. I rebuilt it with using auto install and uh, Ubuntu 20. That was the, li the latest release at the time. So I, uh, so I, then I updated the Ansible, uh, uh, the Cola Ansible inventory so that uh, the, the new node was introduced uh, or uh, attached to the, to the new system. And then we could move instances to the new uh, node. So <coughs> uh, I wrote a number of scripts there. Uh, I'm still working on cleaning them up and uh, I'm going to put, it, to put them on my GitHub ar archive, the others I use them. So, <coughs> so uh, it, it was also a good thing that I had this home open stack installation because I could test things on it that I couldn't test on, on uh, uh, the customer's environment. I didn't want to take the full production down. <laughs> so, so, um, so after uh, the rebuild was done about a year ago. So after that, uh, I'm still, uh, I get uh, sometimes contacts about uh, troubleshooting and also doing maintenance, uh, monitoring uh, every day to see, to see whether everything is okay. So, so this is a few, I don't know how much uh, you know about uh, the OpenStack system. Uh, this, uh, this is more about uh, something about uh, what you see if you open the hood. So, <coughs> so the servers, they are called nodes. This is the, so there are several functions that the node can perform. Control, which controls the, uh, the entire system. Uh, compute, that is a, that runs a hypervisor, which, uh, which uh, manages the uh, instances. Storage, uh, this stores data, there are actually two forms of storage. There are disk images, which, are, which are, can be mounted as volumes on instances. And uh, 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 media uh, images that can be used to bootstrap a new, a new system to, uh, to build it. There is also access control on different levels. And we use an interface uh, which comes, there are two, uh, there is a web-based user interface named Horizon. And there is also a command line interface. So, uh, what uh, what are the different types of nodes are doing? So, the, the control node, OpenStack uh, needs one at least one. Uh, my installation has two, so, so I have some redundancy. So, what uh, what it does? It schedules the placement of uh, instances on on the compute nodes. It takes into consideration what resources are available on each node. Uh, it does the, uh, the 
uh, network management and the virtual network aspect, <coughs> like networks, virtual networks, routers, and other uh, associated uh, equipment. So also storage access management, and it has also monitoring component. So um, the, the compute node, that is what, what actually does the most of the work. Uh, it deploys uh, instances under the control of a hypervisor, and it does uh, uh, the resource allocation, uh, the connection to the virtual networks. Uh, it manages also the operations to be done with the, uh, with the instance, starting, uh, uh, stopping, pausing, taking snaps, also, and also it runs the, uh, the uh, deployment of the instance. So then, then we have the storage node, which is sto uh, nodes. Uh, uh, it manages the virtual data storage and pro provides connections uh, for the instances. Uh, we have two types of uh, objects, volumes. These are disk images that, uh, that are mounted as, uh, 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 as virtual drives on the uh, instances. And also images, these are machine images, like uh, installation media images, uh, used to bootstrap instances. Uh, there are a number of backends available. You can use local files on the node. You can use NFS shares. Also distributed storage systems such as Swift, Ceph, uh, and GlasterFS. I'm using Swift on my installation at home. So, <coughs> so then, then you have the access control. Uh, the, the, uh, the system, uh, an OpenStack system has several, you can set up several domains, each, each would, uh, domain, for example, for an organization. They are independent of each other. So it provides a compartment, uh, uh, the, uh, splits the access in the compartments. Um, so, and, uh, and then you have projects within each domain. So you have different projects which can be isolated from each other, and the users that, uh, that, that are granted access to the, to the project, <coughs> they can access it. Otherwise, uh, 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 yeah. there is no access uh, for, for other users. Uh, <coughs> so uh, so for, the, for the users, um, you have command line interface using uh, actually a, um, a utility name. OpenStack, and it has a web-based, uh, 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 which is um, uh, called Horizon, a uh, web-based uh, dashboard. Uh, <coughs> so these are some essential components that you need to, that uh, need to be installed to, to have a functional uh, OpenStack system. Nova is the is the scheduler for the co on the control node. And the hypervisor on the uh, compute nodes. Neutron is the, uh, manages the networking on the control node. And also runs agents on the uh, compute nodes that provide, for example, DHCP servers for the uh, services for the uh, instances. Cinder, that is block storage for virtual disk images, for the you know, volume storage. Glance, uh, it is another, uh, this is for the virtual media, uh, the uh, machine images. Uh, Keystone is the, is the identity and authentication uh, service provider. And Horizon is a, is a dashboard uh, provided for the user to access the, uh, the system. So, <coughs> so there are uh, some of the kind of, kinds of uh, resource, uh, virtual resources. Instance, that is the name of a virtual machine managed by, uh, by the hypervisor running on a compute node. Network, these are virtual networks. Uh, they can be specific to, to a single project or they can also be shared uh, between the uh, several projects. Uh, one type, one particular type is a public network which connects uh, uh, inst uh, these uh, private networks, project uh, specific networks to external networks. The subnet is a block of IP addresses within a network. A router, it is also uh, virtual, it provides connectivity between instances in the subnet and also 
uh, can serve as a gateway between the networks. So, <coughs> so the volume, it is a disk image uh, uh, containing the systems, uh, uh, containing the file systems that can be mounted on instances. Image, it is a media image, like uh, say a CD-ROM image, uh, which can be used to install uh, uh, Bootstrap an instance. Then you have the security groups. Uh, these are sets of rules sp specific to, uh, to projects or even uh, networks that control uh, the access to certain ports on the, uh, on the instances. Uh, this is the kind of uh, firewall, firewall rules on a, on a system. So, <coughs> so how to secure it? You have to control access. Uh, to the user, user interface, you have the keystone authentication and validation of uh, users. Uh, you have the domains and projects, which have, they, they have their own uh, uh, access controls. Uh, the, 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 the access to the dashboard and command line interface can be limited uh, uh, both uh, by, by validating some users who, who need access and denying access to everybody else, or they can also be limited by using firewalls, so for example, uh, limited access to just to from a certain uh, network. So instances, they, are, they have their own protection, like SSH keys, uh, the security group that I mentioned before, like uh, they are the equivalent of, uh, of um, firewalls, and the, uh, applications that are running in these instances, they, may, they can have their own uh, specific access controls. So, uh, so uh, I'm par partial to Cola and Sibyl uh, because I'm most familiar with it. So, <coughs> so uh, uh, I learned how to customize it and uh, to configure it. So. Uh, the current installation that I have is using the Wallaby release, which was the latest uh, in 2021. So you know, uh, uh, yesterday I built uh, on a virtual box uh, host uh, the latest release of Zen, uh, or Zeta. Th that is the latest release, uh, Z. <laughs> so um, uh, you can, I cannot run any builds in real time right now because uh, they take uh, they take a long time. Takes uh, something like one hour or so. So uh, the way be, uh, beyond the uh, time for this presentation. So, so what? Uh, uh, so, so what I'm intend to 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 do in the future? Uh, I'm well. Uh, I have been around for quite a long time. I'm surprised that I made it so far. <laughs> so, um, so I'm partially retired. I'm still working part-time on the project uh, for Apple. Um, so, uh, so I decided to, to consecrate myself, my time to some hobbies that I have, like model, uh, model railroads and also I, I had a hobby as a student. I, I was a hobby beekeeper, so I'm, I want to resume this uh, occupation. Uh, but I'm also open to part-time contracts. Uh, uh, related to OpenStack. So, uh, and I started also work, uh, I know it's kind of sidetracked, uh, but uh, uh, I'm going to resume it after, uh, after this uh, summit, a series of books about OpenStack. Uh, the, they will be published on Amazon. So, I have also a small GitHub repository, uh, you know, the address the, the over there, so, so um, I can, um, Add, uh, I will add, uh, for example, the set of scripts that I did for uh, for mo my moving instances between uh, an old and uh, the old and the new OpenStack system, and some other uh, utilities. So, so this is uh, uh, these are the slides. Um, I had problems with the slides. They, uh, I, my wife made them using that uh, template that. Uh, uh, was sent by Open Infra. She made it in PowerPoint on her Windows machine. 
I transferred them. I wanted to transfer them onto the on the, on my Mac MacBook. They wanted me to to buy the the PowerPoint for <laughs> for MacBook. So, so eventually I uh, I converted them. I, I uh, this this presentation is actually run on a on a virtual host or virtual box or, or so Ubuntu host on my machine. So. So uh, I converted it to the LibreOffice. Uh, the problem was the conversion didn't go too well, and I didn't, didn't have time to fix it. So, so I'm sorry for about uh, for th these problems. So, uh, how much time do we have left? Because I went to. Just try the five minutes rule and five minutes. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Yeah, uh, I left my glasses on the phone. I'll bring this down. So, so. Uh, looks like. Hmm? Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you. So. I have this um, I need to uh, to resize it. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, I ran uh, the uh, call. I have this problem. Yeah. So. So I, I ran uh, yesterday. I, I built a virtual box uh, uh, host uh, and installed um, uh, uh, one OpenStack node using uh, Cola Ansible. This is the latest release, the Z release. So the, the, there is one thing to be run. There is a, s a script named uh, uh, init run once. The problem is that. Just log me out.
Uh, something is uh, not going here. The resolution is... No, wait. Uh, yeah, the I just can't see anything coming in, right? Yeah. Maybe don't run it full screen. Maybe that would be. So you could be able to scroll up and down. No, it says something to do with the. Uh, Screen uh, display settings. Go maybe on the settings. Scroll down on display. One more. Yeah. And then um, optimize for this computer. Click on that, and then can I can I just make it blue? Maybe that would give you more, you know, better resolution. Yeah, the problem is. Uh, okay, this is better. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So now you can see it. Something is wrong with that script that uh, it uh, it logs me out. So I think we uh, we have to. So you have this in GitHub already? Like hmm? These things are on GitHub. We can. Uh, uh, they are going to they are going to be on GitHub. Okay. Uh, I, I have to do some cleanup and no, I have this glitch that uh, okay. I, I don't want to put uh, glitchy things on on GitHub. Okay. So. Uh, yeah.